Hi everybody, this is Suzanne Hiron of Mimi Papyrus. In this week's tip, I want to show you how I organize my dies. Let's get started. This week I want to talk about dies and how I organize mine. I've been a demonstrator for 11 years now and a stamper for almost 20 years. So I've collected a few of these dies and stamp sets. So first what I do is when a die is um, coordinated with a stamp set, I get a ma magnetic sheet from the dollar store and I adhere it inside my case so I know that these coordinate exactly with the stamps. So the little hearts and the kangaroo and the mama, the baby, I know exactly which dies go with what stamp. So that's very helpful. This one, I guess, could be used for more than one, but it coordinates with this little envelope here. So that's one way of making sure that I have the dies with the coordinated stamp set. The other way I do it is when a set of dies can be used with many stamp sets, I just leave it in the envelope and I put a magnetic sheet inside the envelope so they stick and they, they don't fly all over the place. So that's my tip. And I get these magnetic sheets for $1.25 at the Dollarama here in, in Ottawa. So not very expensive at all. The second part of this tip and that helps me a lot is to organize my dies by cutting out each and every one of them and making a sheet where I can see what I have. So I see this one is for All Dressed Up. It's got a label here that I can use for other sets. Same thing for the boxes. I have words here that I know belong to the Baker's Box uh, die set. The words here belong to the Floral Gallery die set. And I could also use these with some itty bitty stamps to um, stamp a greeting that doesn't belong with the same stamp set. So this way I have a, a, a way of knowing a variety of dies that can be used with different stamp sets. So that's my tip for this week. I hope it's helpful for you. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here.